Now in this question, we're given the graph of y equals f of x, and it has two stationary points, p and q. p at minus 3, 0, and q at 2, minus 4. And we've got to sketch the graph of y equals 3 times f of x plus 2. And to do this, it consists of two transformations. And we start, first of all, with f of x plus 2. And in previous tutorials on my website on transformations of graphs, I've shown you that if you do f of x plus 2, what effect that has is to take your original graph of y equals f of x and translate it two units to the left. So in other words, what's going to happen is that the graph is going to slide then two units to the left. And this point here is of special interest because since it's at 2 minus 4 at the moment, if you slide the graph two units to the left, it's going to end up being on the y-axis. So you're going to get something like this if we just slide that across. There you go. So we now have two points of interest. This stationary point that was at minus 3, 0 is now at minus 5, 0. We'll just put minus 5 there. And this point here comes from this stationary point, which is now at 0, minus 4. So we'll just put minus 4 there. OK? So that's our graph at the moment. The graph, we'll just mark it in as y equals f of x plus 2. OK, a translation two units to the left. Now what we now have to do is take the graph of y equals f of x plus 2. And because we've got this 3 at the front, it means that we stretch it by a scale factor of 3 parallel to the y-axis. Well, if we take our graph of y equals f of x plus 2, when we stretch it by a scale factor of 3 parallel to the y-axis, the point here stays invariant. Points on the x-axis stay invariant, so they don't move. That's this point here at minus 5, 0. This point here stays put. But the point here on the y-axis gets pulled down by a factor of 3, down to minus 12. Let's say that's that point there. And so what's our graph going to look like then? Well, a point like this is going to be pulled down by a factor of 3. It's going to, the graph's going to come up something like this. Excuse my sketching, though, because this is quite difficult to do. It's going to look something like this. We come up through here, touch this point at minus 5, come back down here, down towards the minus 12, bends there, back up through this point here, which stays invariant on the x-axis. And then we continue through, something like that, OK? So, not a brilliant sketch, but hopefully it gives you some idea of what's going on. OK, the graph then of y equals 3 of lots of f of x plus 2. But if you do want further help on transformations, as I said earlier, I've got tutorials on this on my website that you might be interested to look at.